Hello guys, in this session we are going to learn about how can we create tables and uh, why should we create tables and most importantly the reason, the difference between creating tables and working without creating tables and simple sheets with your data. So we will definitely get the answer by the end of the session that why should I create tables in Microsoft Excel. Let's head over to Excel. Uh, first of all, for those who have not yet subscribed my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to it. So here, we have this data. This is a simple data. Uh, if I don't create a table and I just select this range or I go to data and hit the filter button, I can simple still get the sorting and not unsorting options. For example, um, these are my students some dummy names and their obtained marks in the exam out of 50 and if I can even sort the table I can even sort the table without creating a table I can sort my data uh, let's bring it to the natural form the smallest to largest the serial number and what's the difference if I create the table it is recommended that when you have data like this one you must create a table you should create a table you will get some extra features extra properties to manage your data so first of all how will you create come into insert come into table or you can simply create the table by pressing ctrl t from your keyboard once you will click that um, table icon it will confirm you the range from where your data starts and the point where your data ends click ok you will note that your first row has automatically converted into your header and an alternate coloring style has been applied to your data now you have got various options you can simply change the theme okay very easily you can simply change the theme whatever you want for your data okay now you still have the same options you can sort by, by color, you can uh, sort a largest to a smallest, you can sort your records from a smallest to largest and even you can apply filters. For example, you want those students who have obtained marks greater than or equal to 40. Yes, you can still do that. Everything is possible. Okay, let me remove it. The next thing, you can change the name of your table. For example, marks. Now you have specified a name to your range of data. You can reference this name from anywhere else as well. So this is the reason that creating a table is recommended in Microsoft Access. The other thing that you can do, you can use this option, banded rows versus unbanded rows. The alternate coloring style. If you don't want this style, just simply uncheck this banded rows option. Okay. Uh, Banded column option, if you want this. Banded column option is also there. The other thing you can do is you can use slicer. Let me show you what slicer can do. Uh, for example, I want slicer for marks. Okay. Now, here is a range of marks. You can modify the slicer. That's not. Uh, we are not going to cover slicer into uh, very deeply in this session but I'm just going to give you an introduction you can come into settings um, you can change the header the caption or you can select the um, style for your uh, slicer now what will happen I want a student who have got 25 marks I want a student who have got 28 marks or if I enable this multi select option I want students who have got 24, 25, 26 and 28 marks. Now, you will notice that all other options are unselect but these four options are selected 24, 25, 26 and 28 and only those records are visible who have obtained this sort of marks. Let's remove the filter. What else you can do is you can simply go in here to your sorry to your design and you can enable a total row column now total your students obtained total 798 marks a total of 798 marks so 
how easily you can get the total if you add a student by just simply inserting over here um, the serial number for example let me give it a serial number 30 some of my role numbers and my extreme name dummy name and here obtained let's say 40 marks my total is automatically increased so this was the introduction to the table and further if you wish to if you wish to again convert this range into a simple cell you can do that by coming to design option and convert to range simply it will ask you it will confirm you now there's no you, you are no more using a table your record has been converted into a simple range so it is recommended otherwise if you have this data without table you would not be able to perform all these operations into your sheets very easily even you can do everything a lot of things are possible in excel but you cannot do a lot of things very easily but once you convert your data into excel table you get a lot of other added properties to manage your data very easily so that's it for this session if you have got any question don't forget to write into comments thank you very much